here with Concordia Head Women's Basketball Coach Drew Olson to preview the 2024-25 season uh, as we record this only about a couple weeks away from the first official game of the, the season. Um, you're going to be your 19th season as head coach here. Uh, let's talk kind of about the, the preseason a little bit and how things are going. What, what are some of your first impressions um, as you've had a chance to, to kind of see what this team's identity might be this season? Uh, it's been really fun so far, I think. Uh, just It's fun to see the players that have uh, kind of taking a step forward and, and showing lots of lots of development, um, and, and that's been a lot of them. Like our, our sophomore class right now is has shown really good strides, so that's been fun. Uh, as far as our identity, I think we're we're still trying to figure that out a little bit. Um, it's kind of hard when you don't have opponents to play to like measure up and see is this something that's going to work. Um, but I, I do I do like. What we're doing right now, and um, we're we're just ready to play somebody different. Mm -hmm. You had a, a stellar group of seniors last year, and you get you do get one of them back with with Kendall Brigham um, using her COVID exemption. But how much did that mean for for this team for for her to make that decision? Oh, it was huge. Uh, Kendall's a difference maker um, with her speed, her her toughness, her competitiveness, and I just. I think that that's really helped our team uh, start to figure out who we're going to be this year is because of her. Um, you know, with, without her, maybe we, we're going to have to do a lot of different things, but um, with her, I think that we're still able to play with great pace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you could say the backcourt kind of starts with Kendall and, and Abby Kreiser, mm -hmm. uh, two very experienced players, but considering everything that they bring to the table, speed, athleticism, um, and experience. Uh, what does that kind of allow you to do in terms of playing the, the style that you always want to play? Yeah, uh, those two fit exactly the way that we want to play, and that is super fast. Um, I think defensively, Abby Kreiser's one of the best defensive players in the country, and um, she's able to guard multiple positions, able to guard full court. Um, so with both of them, we're able to, to continue to do what we want to do and um, press defensively and, and play fast on offense. Mm -hmm. So now you've got a, a senior class of two, right, with, with the Abbeys, Abby Kreiser, Abby Heemstra. What have you seen in, in their growth and just how they've maybe taken ownership of, of their roles? I think both of those uh, are just two of the most like selfless players. Uh, they're, they're very mature and communicate really well uh, with their teammates and with me and um, they've, they've handled so many different things throughout their career and I feel like both of them are, are very excited and driven for, for their final run. Talk about playing fast, uh, you, you got to have some depth in the backcourt and, and you did mention the, the sophomores now are, are making strides but how, what do you like about kind of how that backcourt is developing uh, the depth right now? Yeah, we've got we've got a lot of players, um, and and we've still got some players that I think are going to continue to develop and uh, find find their way on the court. But uh, that sophomore group, you know, a lot of them got just a little bit of experience last year, um, but I think that they they saw what they're capable of, and their their work this summer has been awesome. And uh, there's so many of them that are that are ready to to, to really surprise a lot of people. I think. Well, there'll be some new new faces in the, the backcourt playing a little bit, maybe. But uh, you have a lot lot, lot returning in the, the front court: uh, Heemstra, Kristen Wieselmeyer, and Raylan Kelty, to name a, a few. Um, how about that group, and, and what what kind of strength you could have uh, in the front court? Yeah, I think all three are very different types of post players, um, um, and we're able to again be versatile because of those three and. Uh, Kristen's just continue to be steady. Um, her her ability to stretch the defense, her, her shooting, um, she's she's able to score inside as well. Abby's just really really consistent all the time. Both of them are very good one on one players in the post. Uh, and then Ray's just just super gritty. And um, but I, like I said, I think that she's made uh, a lot of a lot of improvements. You've got. Uh eight freshmen I believe in the program right now what what is that class 
uh, giving you right now? That's a really fun group. Um, they're 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 super teammates. You know, they're they're awesome people to be around. Um, I think a couple of them have the potential to, to help a little bit throughout the season, um, but I think the, the potential is there for uh, for future future years, and um, so we're really excited about them. Last year there were some some really good battles with with Dort, a team that ended up winning a national championship. Just what does it say maybe about where the GPAC stands in this this new one division format and how? competitive you're able to be with the top teams? Yeah, I think this year um, is going to be tougher than ever in the GPAC. I think last year was really tough um, and it showed when we had five teams in the in the round of 16. Um, you know, you've got the, the defending national champs in Dort like you talked about, but uh, I, I really think that there's some teams that are that are also going to be really good this year with, you know, Hastings probably going to take a jump and uh, Doan, Doan, Briarcliff, uh, Morningside, there's so many really good teams. And then you've always got the this, this stable uh, Dakota Westland and Northwestern. And so um, you just know, like, if you're, in, if you're in the top half of the GPAC, you've got a really good shot to be at the national tournament. Um, but we're, we're excited because we know we're going to get challenged throughout the year and get better. Mm -hmm. Well, you never have a lot of time to get ready for conference play when the season starts. You get the the Cattle Classic. Um, Non-conference is only six games these days, but you get also have a trip to Dakota State. You go to California, uh, CIT in, in Ann Arbor. But specifically, kind of leading up to conference play, how does that? How do you feel like those teams will test you and prepare you? Yeah, I, I think it's it's a great way to start. You know, having Oklahoma City and, and Southern Oregon come and come to our Classic is going to be great. Uh, two really good teams, and um, you know, Southern Oregon's a, a national tournament team that uh, continues to get better. Uh, and then you got Dakota State, who we've had some awesome battles with, and uh, they're always in the in the round of 16 or, or greater. And um, so we know after those three games, we'll we'll know a lot more about ourselves and what we need to be better at. Uh, and hopefully, that will prepare us for for that first game against Morningside. Kind of finally, I know you guys always come up with a theme to, for that season. Um, how was that? How did you come up with one for this year, and how does it fit this team? Uh, some years, some years it's kind of my my own idea, and some years it's our it's our players. And, and this year it was it was Kendall and uh, Abby and Abby kind of coming up with the idea of just uh, staying focused on being selfless and uh, the the verse from Philippians that. Um, where, where does the joy come from? It's not from our own selfish ambition. It's um, doing it for others. And uh, I think that this group really embodies that. I think that so far throughout practice, it's been awesome just knowing it's, it's all about the team and the team's success. It doesn't matter what role you're in. You, you know you have value in your role, um, but it is all about the team first. All right. How about a, a SCO Dogs? SCO Dogs.